What's up, party people? Got my Twitch partner shirt on today. It's a great day. Anytime you can throw on purple, it's a great day. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And uh, as we can see, the challenges are already rolling in. Thank you for being here on this very special Friday. It is a Bull of Brawl Friday. Finally back in the office. Finally back at home where uh, where things are good. Come at me. Come one, come all. Premium members, Twitch subscribers. I got multiple chats open here that I am monitoring. Oh, wow. Our first game's in abort. Wah, wah, wah. Right? We got chess.com TV. We've got uh, Twitch chat, Twitch chess chat. We've also got my own uh, personal Twitch channel now, which is uh, where I'm streaming to right now. But I'm monitoring all chats, so I can see I can see y'all. All right. Unfortunately, we uh, we had a no show, but now we've got a 2100, so that's a pretty good player. Bullet Brawl. We're gonna be playing Bullet Chess today for however long we want, and then uh, maybe analyzing the games if we can learn something together continuing to be sacrilegious in believing that we can possibly learn something from our bullet games. That's a mistake. You got to play a6. You have to play a6 before you play this move because of exactly what you are now going to see. Should I just take here? I probably could, but I'm not going to. Taking there may have been even more accurate because with b4, I'm really establishing a a monstrous situation over here. But I'm taking a little too much time. I guess I'm just going to sit. Sit on my big space advantage. Is that a big space advantage or what, right? Or you know what? That's right, I was going to make a happy to see me joke. Okay, I was. I decided to hold back. I don't know why. Sometimes I hold back. Sometimes I don't. Okay, I'm going to get the knight to g5, and it's going to be all over. Okay, this is a lot of pawns. A lot of pawns. We have a bell ringer. All right, let's ring that bell. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. I forget about all the props I have. Sometimes I feel like I've been doing this whole, I've been in the stream game too long now. You know, where like, you had like a really funny idea, get yourself a hotel bell, check in, check out, right? Uh, you know, get yourself, uh, you know, if you're not sure what to do, then... Just do it! Right. If you're ever just not sure what to do, do it. just do it, right? You get yourself a Shia just Buff animation. Just do it! Um, you know, you get yourself a gong, and then you do enough stream shows, and you just forget about it. So, anyway, that's our first bullet game. I want to say hi to everybody. Um, what is uh, going on? Joe, Joe Blaska in the Danny Wrench chat. Thank you for being here. Please follow the new channel. Chess Bay. Chess Bay 94, would you please consider becoming a mod for my personal channel as well as the chess channel? I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart. Um, yes, wearing my Twitch partner shirt. That's what I'm talking about. Love it, love it. Um, TC, TC, EC, POC. Um, preparing to split from chess.com and all their viewers. Why would you do that? Uh, we have a lot of channels, but all you need to do is watch it at, at uh, chess. Okay, you can go watch it at the chess channel because it's being hosted over there and I'm watching that chat. So you don't have to, TC, EPC, you, uh, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to watch it here. You can watch, you can watch it wherever you want. Okay, this is about you. I wouldn't want you to be inconvenienced, dear. Um, what's up, Swagmaster of OC? Chess TV chat. We got a lot of Diamond members. I want to thank every premium member here from the bottom of my heart. We got Mary392770. OMG, what's this? This is a bullet brawl. Fangbo, Eric Erad, who I just played. Um, you did get wrecked, but it's because you made one small mistake. So I know we normally try to back up, and you're a... You're a 2100 player, so that's that's pretty good. Um, but you made one simple mistake, right? In the uh, in the classical French, you can't extend c5 until you've played a6. 
period. It's not an option. And this is what you did, and, and you're immediately punished with the move knight to b5. Um, you know, and it makes sense. The reason why you should never forget this is because it's a positional, like, uh, factoid about this structure that should be, like, subconscious. It should be like learning to ride a bike where you can't forget it. And, and you want certain positional mistakes to get to that level where you couldn't make them if you wanted to because it's just against your chess instincts, right? Uh, Yermo, Uncle Yermo, who, by the way, I think is on right after this with highlights of the St. Louis showdown. So if you're in the mood to spend the rest of your evening and afternoon with chess, right after me is Uncle Yermo. But he told me one time, he said, guys like Wojkiewicz, the late Wojkiewicz, Wojo, he said that guy is like, he's like so good positionally. Like he can miscalculate and blunder, especially if he's been, you know what, Wojo was known for that. Um, and, uh, or, or he can have a bad day and, and make a blunder. But that guy like isn't capable of misevaluating something positionally like ever, right? I mean, because he just knows that in this structure, you just know you have dark square weaknesses and they don't make those types of blunders. So you want this kind of game to stick in your memory when you lose a game quickly like that because it shouldn't even be an option for you to get, forget to play a six before C5. You just want to be that good at the pawn structures you play. Certain positional mistakes just never come out of your mouse or your hand. So there you go. Um, hopefully that's a good tip. But uh, Chess Bay, I think I can make you a mod. Oh man, I'm not logged in as Danny Wrench, apparently on Twitch. I got so many other chess channels going here. I don't know if I should switch right now. I'll make you a mod later, Chess Bay, and thank you for accepting my invitation. Uh, we want to get a death match between uh, Daniel Wrench and Uncle Sasha. Now that would be something. That would be full on Fight Club, right? You got Edward Norton and Brad Pitt going at it, right? I mean, that would be that would be pretty hilarious. What's up, Chess King T? Um, everybody who's here in the Chess TV chat, um, I'm not only playing diamonds, but diamond members and subs to our Twitch channels. Uh, the the Chess channel. If you're a sub to Twitch TV slash Chess. I'm not asking anybody to sub to my personal channel. I mean, unless you want to, that's great. I'm really just doing it for funsies. And because we have a plan to do so much chess on Twitch over the coming years that we're going to be doing what you see now, where I started right when International Master Voyaslav Simul was still going and... I'm still going to be going today when Yurmo starts his show. There is going to be chess on Twitch 24-7. Can somebody drop a mic, please? Somebody drop a mic. I got some vitamin C here. There is going to be chess on Twitch 24-7. Okay? That's what's going to be happening. So, um... Yeah, you can't sub for... Thank you for that. Yeah, so you will sub as soon as you can sub for my Danny Wrench channel. Ba Bakuz, I'm going to hold you to that because you're, you're awesome. But if you are a sub to the twitch.tv slash chess channel or a premium member, you have first love, first come, first serve. So, all right, let's, uh, let's do it. We are going to have chess all the time. You are never going to be not bored. Let's play, let's play a higher rated player here. Let me get the, the show started here with, ooh, a little Optimus Magister. Let's get, let's get some jingle jangle going here. What do we got here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Yet another abort bites the dust. Bam, bam, bam. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Oh, this was obnoxious. And another one does. And another one does. Another one bites the dust. Oh. Um, I've been listening to all kinds of weird music these days. I know you guys don't like it when I sing anyway. Well, some of you do, actually. I always get so confused. Some people are like, oh, we love it when you're an idiot. And other people are like, stop being an idiot. This is a chess show. And other people are like, Danny, I love when you're an idiot. And you know what I mean? You make up your minds. You guys are like my divorced parents. Jesus, no wonder I'm so confused. Um... Any Hooters. I've been listening to like, I've been bouncing around. I got one of those weird Pandora stations go where they're like, what songs did you like to, to start getting like George Strait, Amarillo by Morning? And then, you know, like, I feel it still, that new song that's on the radio all the time, right? I feel it still. Amarillo by Morning, on down to San Antonio. Everything that I got. Is just what I've got on. I ain't got a dime, but what I got is mine. I ain't rich, but Lord, I'm free. Amarillo by morning. Amarillo's where I'll be. Play that violin, damn. Amarillo by morning. 
on down to San Antonio. Everything that I've got is just what I've got on. I ain't got a dime, but what I've got is mine. I ain't rich, but Lord, I'm free. Amarillo by morning. Amarillo's where I'll be. Okay, I have very nice pawn here. Uncle Sasha, go get it. I did. Thank you. Thank you for permission, Danny. No one likes you. Get out of here. It's my show. Uncle Sasha is here. This guy is just letting me uh, grind him uh, down right now. It is on like a donkey kong running in a thong, spring thong. You know what I'm talking about. Amarillo by morning. I love when people add twang who don't have twang in their voice. On down to San Antonio. Everything that I've got. Is just... I should have just taken his bishop. This is ridiculous right now. I want me get titled player. I want lose to start show today. I want to lose it. Lose my mind. Uh, Guns and Roses, is that what you want? I, we can have some mods, uh, Chess King T. I just haven't made any mods for my own personal channel yet. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a newbie on my own personal channel. What is he doing? What is this guy doing? I never know what he's doing. Right? On Gong, Meatloaf, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, is this guy like, what is, what is he on right now, right? I, I, I literally don't even know how to, how to, the ways to crush him in this position. Hmm, 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 hmm. If he lets me, I'm going to take this bishop and then play queen h5 check. Just watch out for that. It's coming. It's coming. They're here. Is that not one of the creepiest lines, like, ever, right? The poltergeist? They're here. Right? Or is that exorcist? I don't even know my horror movies anymore. I need to get my game together. I don't even know my, my anything anymore. I'm falling apart. I'm getting old, everybody. I'm getting old. Okay, we have a very nice situation here, if I can just checkmate him very nicely. I won't checkmate him. Amarillo by morning, on down San Antonio. Everything that I've got is just what I've got on. Okay, I can do a number of things. We'll go here. I have a feeling I am not play so well. But okay, he doesn't have a lot of time, does he? He didn't have enough time. I was just I was just free falling there. I was Tom Pettying there. Pulling a Tom Petty. Mighty Dog, yes, my name is Daniel Wrench. Thanks for being here on Chess.com TV. Thanks to everybody that is here watching the Bullet Brawl show. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's not Exorcist, it's Poltergeist. Okay, so I was right. Thank you. Thank you for carving 01, for confirming my there here. Um, somebody said I sound like Johnny Cash. I don't think so. Johnny Cash is like a like a... I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that train a coming, I hang my head and cry. Or is that Joaquin Phoenix's version of Johnny Cash, right? Are they like the same soul? I mean, seriously, Joaquin Phoenix was amazing in Walk the Line. Um, Thanks to everybody here in the uh, chess doc in the in the Twitch chat as well. Not a lot of people in the Twitch chess chat. I guess that's because as soon as you go, is that a, is that a thing? Like when you go somewhere and they're kind of auto hosting, you tend to go to the main channel rather than watch it at Twitch TV slash chess. I don't know. 
I only I, I want both there because I want to pay attention to our subs. I love I love our subs and all those supporting the Twitch TV slash chess channel. Uh, yeah, because no one follows me exactly. Um, it's true. Uh, all right, well let's play some more premium members or subscribers to the Twitch TV uh, channel. Chess.com members, if you are in live chess, go ahead and send me a challenge. You can see. Or you can't necessarily see. I can see. I have dozens and dozens of challenges here waiting. Um, let's take on our next premium member, have a fun game, and maybe do a little bit of analysis, right? Do a little dance. This guy is going to try to bring the Nimzo. <laughs> Nobody plays the Nimzo against me. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Made my team. Blade. Razor. Blazer, my personal consigliere, Michelle, and the world's most deadliest woman with a dodgeball, Alexandra Delanoskovich, Delovich Elenov. I think that's what it is. This guy's trying to bring the Nimzo pain up in this. I have not very good uh, way I play this, actually. I not play it right, but too late. I need to back up. And, and remind myself of where, where I where I did this one wrong. Yeah, because I'm I'm in big trouble here if he had played e4 there, because the bishop's already on g5. What did I? I wasn't even paying attention. I was too into my my Ben Stiller impersonation. Um. But uh, White was winning there. Kui, Kui Bob, Kiwi Bob. Kiwi Bob, you are going to learn something in this analysis, so don't go anywhere. Thanks for being a premium member. We're going to go over this game, and you are going to see that you were winning in the middle game here. Normally, when someone plays the Nimzo, you know what I do. I... Uh, I wave that finger. Come on, where's my graphic? There it is. Ah, that's what I normally do when people play the Nimzo, but not today. Today I uh, I didn't play well. So let's learn from this game because this is a very nice opportunity here. Uh, so first of all, the mainline Nimzo, this Zamish position with C5 uh, is one of the most... Well, it, it was much more popular. Um, everybody here has read Zurich International 1953. Of course you have, because I've been recommending this book forever. Look at it's also purple. Oh my God, the book matches my shirt. How freaking awesome is that? Right, look at that. Zurich International 1953. Go get it. Get that book. Um, so, you know, the, the A3 Zamish Nimzo lines where white aggressively forces the bishop pair to part on C3 is designed to get, you know, you, you want to have support for your center. You know you're going to lose these pawns. Like, that's just part of the jam. But you want to get a big attack, and you want to use the bishop pair to launch an attack. Normally, in these situations, white is not able to necessarily get you know, this, this bishop on g5 pinning the knight and the threat of getting a center. I sort of fell asleep at the wheel here um, in my dodgeball impersonation, and we're going to show that white was actually winning in this middle game. Um, so knight of three is, okay, normally the way this line goes is, is e3, okay? e3 is to get the bishop out, and the reason is that very often the knight is going to come to e2, and then... Um, and then you have e4 and f4, and you don't want the knight to be in the way of the f pawn. Okay, so like if we get a main line zamish, uh, you know, you might get something like this, and then b6, and then castles, and then bishop a6, and then e4, threatening bishop g5. So now I'm going to back up and not allow it. Uh, you can play for f4. Now there's several moves. I can try to put the kibosh on your advance, but then there's some potential weaknesses. I can I can go all in and just play knight a5 and say here I come for the pawn. Uh, there's this. There's some famous games, um, Carries Ryshevsky from Zurich International 1953, Geller, Geller Uwe, um, also in this line. So there's some STEM games you need to know about the basic imbalance here. But I will say the general theory has evolved to the point where black is doing fine, and, and white isn't really kind of checkmating black, so I'll say that. Um, but it doesn't mean it's not really dangerous. So when you get bishop g5 and I don't immediately punish you, 
I really get myself in a bad in a bad way because now you should have been able to get a big center and have what you almost never get, which is the bishop pinning the knight, and that could have been a problem for me. So I think I should play this move, threatening this. I think that's what I should do. Um, one of the ideas is if you guard with the queen, I think I still go here. I should not, there should not be a theoretical way for you to get the bishop to g5 and get a Zamish type of idea. But me, me uh, letting you kind of off the hook, you, you got this middle game, let's get to the position you got. Now I, now I kind of went to autopilot, now I go back into like regular development ideas. But, um, and, and, but it, was, and it was because of that that I played d5, because I knew that if I didn't play d5, you were going to get e4, and then I really have some problems here. Like this, this position gets so dangerous for black. That if you got this and and I went and I went really risky to play g5, you might even be able to just sack and still be and still be in a really good shape here because the lack of the dark square bishop is really really critical for black over here, uh, a big problem. Okay, big big problem. Uh, so you you know you have f4 coming, you have the queen coming out. So just to just to put in your in your pipe and smoke it, Kiwi Bob, that. Um, that your attack is really dangerous when you get this pin. You should have been more aggressive for e4. So what did you do again? You played, um, you played, yeah, you played rookie one, and then I took c4 because I was trying to like create tempo counterplay. Probably I should leave the pawn on d5 since I've again blundered this idea and maybe play knight a5 right away and get you to take, and then I can take back with the pawn and I keep pressure on e4 so you're not just blowing me open. But after takes in here and then rook c8, I think if you play e4, I, I'm not happy. I wasn't even sure what I was going to do. Again, if I play g5, you just like take here and Bob's your uncle on f6. This is a big hurt. You've heard of the big chill starring Jeff Goldblum? This is the big hurt. Um, is the big hurt also a thing? I think the big hurt, uh, there's, there's the big everything. There's the big Lebowski... The big chill, um, the big friendly giant. Um, what, what other big things do we have? Right, big starring Tom Hanks, just the movie Big. But um, anyway, so yeah, e4 is what you need to do. E4 is what you should have been played for. Bishop g5 is actually not a good move in that line, uh, but I didn't punish you, and you could have had some some good stuff going on. Good, good stuff going on. All right, let's check in with the chat. That's what this is about. Uh, there's the, there's a big crunch and the big bang theory for science. That's true. Okay, other bigs to speak of. I appreciate that. The big hurt was a baseball movie. Thank you, Chess Bay. There you go. Um, of all the big movies, I think the Big Lebowski might be the funniest. Not necessarily the most appropriate. Okay. Um, but thanks uh, thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, Eric Erod want, wants me to accept his challenge, but you already played, man. I can't just, like, double up on your slice already, okay? Danny, accept my challenge. Um, I know you want me to... Okay, the big hurt is Frank Thomas, the baseball player. Lee, diamond member in, uh, in Twitch TV chat, or chess.com TV chat also confirms that. Um, yeah, well, that's just, like, your opinion, man. Classic Big Lebowski reference. Classic Big Lebowski reference. Um... Um, taking a look at uh, what's going on here in the different chats. Did not didn't Nakamura say he wanted to play someone sharp and sees a lot of things? I don't think that's me, buddy. I don't think I don't think that's me. Okay. Um. All right. Let's uh, let's play some more. I want I want to get myself involved in a bit of a title player battle here. I would like to make myself close to 2600 before today's show is done. That was a mouse slip. I meant to play d5, but too late. Uh, just defend. Mm-hmm. 
it feels like I should have something here, right? But I'm already taking too much time. Oh man, did I just blunder? Oh man, he got so lucky there. All right, well, managed to flag him in the end, but uh I, don't, I didn't expect that game to come down to a flag fest. I thought I would have better. What? He doesn't want to play anymore? Or he does? Don't know what this guy's doing, but all right. I'll go look for somebody else. How did he do that? By aborting enough games, he ended up getting white again? That's a tricky little bug. We should report that. And by the collective we, I mean one of you guys while I'm playing should go report that. <laughs> LOL. Just kidding. Whoa. That was a little strange. Ooh, I could have taken and then taken with the rook. That would have been nasty. Nasty. Uh, I don't think he has anything here. I don't think he has anything here. That seems like less than ideal for him. I ain't got a dime, but what I got is mine. I ain't rich, but Lord, I'm free. Amarillo by morning. Amarillo's where I'll be. Look at this guy. I'm not playing this guy anymore. Kind of lame, right? Kind of a sore loser there. Letting himself flag and, and whatevs. We don't need you. We don't need y'all, right? What happened to those vitamin C that I dropped? Oh no, the bottle opened and the vitamin C spilled out. For those of you who've been here the whole time know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> that was the, uh, the, bend over, the bend over soreness of CrossFit. All right, let's go find somebody else. Let's find somebody else who wants to play with me. Fine, you're not my best friend. I'm gonna go play with somebody else. We have B Master. Okay, he has President Obama as his avatar. Duh. We have. Why is everybody aborting today? What is the deal? Seriously. Why, oh, why? Right? Irritating. Uh, the Pinto, Danny, please give me the live experience. Ali Pepo says, maybe you want to play a lower rated non-premium member. That's not, not, not the highest on my list, but I hear you. I hear you. I get it. <laughs> Just being totally honest there. Um, but uh, yeah, 
I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Thanks. Bill Lumberg. Yeah, hi. Bill Lumberg here. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Bill Lumberg. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have to disagree with you there, Bobs. And then when I make a mistake, I got to hear about it from seven different seven different bosses. That's right, Bob. Now, where's the motivation in that? Office space. First, uh, let's see. First member to tell me who my favorite character is from the movie Office Space. It gets a one-month diamond membership. First person to tell me who my favorite character is. I'm going to check the chat here in just a second. Just a second. Lumberg. Here we go. Here we go. Coordinating my rooks. Everybody's happy. Um, ooh, I could have just won the rook for free. Wasn't even thinking. It's over. It's not a Duma. It's over. Uh, what are we doing here? Is this like some sort of game of tickle you're trying to play? Okay, we have we have very nice checkmate here. Very nice. I'm sure there were multiple other checkmates. All right. Uh, all right, let me go back. Let me let me back up here. People are going nuts about my office space challenge. Love it. And chess TV chat. Okay, and Twitch chat. Okay, we got Michael Bolton. <laughs> okay, the great guesses. Every one of these guesses makes me so happy. Michael Bolton. I love his the rage. One of the best scenes ever, right? Of any movie ever is the baseball bat and the copy and the copy machine, right? TPC load letter. What the does that mean, right? <laughs> I love that movie. Um. Office, no, The Office is the TV series. Office Space. If you, like, Office Space is one of those movies in your circle of friends, if you've seen it, and, like, you have somebody who you hang with, and all of a sudden you find out that they haven't seen Office Space, like, you literally like them less. It's that kind of movie, okay? Total cult classic. Gotta know Office Space. So, Michael Bolton is a great guess, but incorrect. Bill Lumberg, obviously. Bob Slidell. Who's Bob Slidell? Bob is the... Oh, Bob is the guy that gets in the accident, right? Is that it? Okay, let me see what's going on in, in chess.com TV chat. Um, we've got um, we got we got the stapler. We got Milton. Um, I believe you have my stapler. Yep, the Milton. Milton is a popular guess. Um, the uh, the uh, no o Oli Oli Pe Peplo, you got it wrong, dude. You're not gonna beat me unless you get a diamond membership. You see, you need that education, buddy. Not gonna happen. Um, who else? I'm looking, Milton, Milton Adams. Nobody's got it yet. Um, time traveler wants to know my view on the scandalous Saudi Arabia. You know, I'll give my view on that in just a second. Um. Samir? No, it's not Samir. I, unless somebody guessed it. Uh, unless somebody guessed it. I, I don't see anybody guessing it. Jennifer Aniston's boss. That's not a bad one, right? The flair. And then the, the character with the, the kid with all the flair. Um Yeah, who guessed Dom? Isn't Dom the name of the, the, the neighbor? Isn't Dom the neighbor the guy who sits on the couch and he's like, Hell no, man. I reckon somebody, you know. That guy. That guy's the best character, for sure. Uh, oh, man. RSK, dude. That does feel bad. Go get yourself some Netflix and watch Office Space. Isn't his name Dom? The guy on the couch? 
I should just Google what his name is. Hey, Peter. What's happening? Um, I think I think Olipu, Oliplo, the guy who who's been uh, who's been a hanger on trying to get his diamond membership, may have been the first one to get it, to guess Dom. Um, so he may actually have just got himself a diamond membership, as fate would have it, right? A twist of fate there. The guy who's complaining maybe gets a diamond membership. There you go. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, the uh, checking back over in the Twitch chat. Oh, we got some people over on the uh, Twitch TV chess chat. What's up, Danny? GM Swerples. Uh, the guy in the server at the restaurant with the flair. That's a great guess. But no, again, I, I said it was Dom, the, the neighbor. Um, Dom, the neighbor. Yep. Dom Portwood. Okay, great. Chess Bay coming through. Uh, and and Bakus. I see it there. Awesome. Wait, is it Lawrence? Wait, Lawrence is the name of the neighbor. Now I'm confused. Steel Magnolias. Um, is there anybody else besides Deborah Winger who you can pick from that movie? I'm pretty sure Deborah Winger was in that. I just winged it with that guess, but okay. All right, we got a lot of people waiting to play. I'm gonna I'm gonna play Oli Oli Plo just for his um, just for his his persistence and because I think he wins the diamond membership. Although it's Lawrence, so who guessed Lawrence? Oh, it's not Dom Portwood. Yeah, Dom Portwood is um is the other guy. So no, you don't get it, Oli Plo. You don't get it, but you did somehow sneak yourself in here for a bullet game. So congrats. Um, one of the things you should never do is play a move like King E7. I'm going to hope for your sake. I'm going to pray and hope for your sake that that was a mouse slip. Um, I, I'm going to bet that it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go get some coffee after this. And you guys are like, wait, you're going to take a break? And the Deborah Winger is not in Steel Magnolia. Who is it then? It's um, Sally Field, right? I know you're like, did you just confuse Sally Field with Deborah Winger? Like, and now you roll, you know, now. Wait, what's the movie where, um, oh, Terms of Endearment. I'm thinking of Terms of Endearment. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Terms of Endearment, Chess Bay. Yeah. 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 All right, Oliplo, this, this game went downhill when you played King E7, so we're not going to spend much time analyzing it. We're going to get other members in who are ready to play all day. All day, all day. All day, all day. Uh, okay, let's, let's start another game while we're finishing off this guy here. Let's start another game. Look at that. We we got another game going already against Hectagon. What's up, Hectagon? We love you, buddy. Diamond member Hectagon. We know this guy. Long time viewer, long time. I think I've played Hectagon before. Hector, can I call you Hector? Daryl, can I call you Daryl? Peter, can I call you Peter? Peter, what's happening? I'm going to go get some coffee so I can do my best Bill Lumberg impression. You can't do Bill Lumberg unless you have a cup of joe. Fun fact. All right, what do we have here? We have this uh, B5 that I don't care about. I don't care about B5. I think I'm just, I tend to go all in for checkmate, probably a little more than you could ever advise somebody to do. But that's my thing, right? Thank you, everybody, for being here right now in the stream. For those of you just getting here, we've had quite the, uh, we've already had quite the day. We've, um, we've really, really had a lot of crazy stuff happen in this show. And we're about to have more because I'm about to blunder away this game, potentially. Or not. Or I will not be blundering away the game. One of those things will happen. I'll either blunder or I won't. 
Okay, now we take your first. Threat and checkmate. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. We give check. We take here. And then we take on g6. I should have probably taken the bishop first, but whatevs. Okay, well, he's got b2 coming, right? So I have to be a little careful. Do I care about b2? Do I care? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I do, actually. And that's kind of irritating, because I kind of do, and I can't really defend it. Right? Um, he doesn't have a lot of time, but it's a 1-1 game. So, okay, so I'm going to play a solid move. So I can hide my king. I definitely messed up with rook takes e5. I should have taken his bishop on g7 first. But now I know. Yeah, where did that game... So he played this kind of hyper-accelerated accelerated dragon. The hyper-accelerated accelerated dragon. Um, yeah, I think b5 is, is actually a line. And I think I just... Probably didn't play the best line with h4. Probably I'm supposed to go take that pawn, right? And kind of call your bluff, I bet. Hector, Daryl, can I call you Daryl? Hectagon? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, yeah, so the thing that you missed is in this position here after h5. Uh, I don't know if you missed it or not, but why not already start going to work here on my rook that I've self-pinned? Why not moves like knight a5, right? And open up the bishop, right? Why not? So you played queen b6, and then I played bishop b3 and slid the queen over, which was a nice idea, actually. I think that that whole point kind of makes my attack more dangerous than I thought it was. The fact that I have this idea of queen h4. Um, and now, now again, after takes and check, I should just take here, right? I should give up the, uh, give up the rook for the more, much more dangerous way to continue the attack here on the dark squares. This would have been probably the nuts, right? Probably would have been the bees, the bullets. Yep. I got invited to play a, a poker event, actually, in L.A. by a guy that does poker streams. Wayne. Wayne, I hope that's, I hope that's cool that I'm, you know. But I, I don't know. I think he thinks I'm good at poker. Like, eh, right? I mean, but that could be cool. Maybe do a live poker event someday. What do you guys think? I am giving the guy some slack, Baku. I'm not. I'm not. Remember, I'm just going over these games to give feedback and whatever, Baku's. I'm not. I'm not hating on. I'm. I'm just talking about the line. Um, okay, Smoochy Gaming says, "All right, Danny Wrench. It's been a while since I've had a membership, but I'm going to get one right now, simply due to the pure entertainment. Thank you. If anybody wants to get a diamond membership to thank me for my entertainment." I appreciate that. That would be amazing. Um, and eventually you can sub directly to the Twitch channel, so then you, that way you don't have to. That way if you're like, hey, I want to have my cake and eat it too kind of thing. Uh, but tell me your username, Smoochie Gaming, so I can play you. Uh, Wayne, yeah, it's Wayne from Live at the Bike. Yeah, yeah. So you guys know Wayne? Y'all know Wayne? Y'all know Wayne, right? Say what? Right? Um, I don't, I, um, I've never met Wayne, but we've, we've conversed a few times. Wayne's a pretty funny guy. I hear. Uh, of course, it's possible to play more games against me. Um, but okay, let's let's keep playing here. I want to get another bullet match going now that I've played a couple members. We have okay, un momento, Smoochie Gaming. That's right. I'll wait for you. Right after this show, in case you've forgotten, is um, Alien Cowboy, sweet. Uh, right after this show is Grandmaster Alex Yermolinsky, and I think Melikachian, maybe not. But Grandmaster Alex Yermolinsky is uh, going to be going over highlights. Maybe we'll take a quick look at those uh, those games from today. Nakamura's playing in St. Louis along with a bunch of other people. Do you guys want to look at those games with me? I'll provide some edumacation if you'd like, or do you want me to keep playing Bullet? Your call. I'm not picky. As long as you're here with me, that's all that matters to me. You care. You really care. Okay, here's a diamond membership. So I already owe someone I, I owe someone a diamond for the Lawrence thing. Maybe we can figure out who that guy was. 
um, like who, who actually won. So I can give them a diamond membership. Okay, hold on. I need to focus here so I actually win. I forgot I'm playing a 2400 now. Um, okay, this is already getting much more dangerous than I would have liked. Darn it. I, I, I forgot I had needed to change my tone to a slightly more serious one given that the strength of my opponent drastically increased. <laughs> uh, but... Um, I, uh, what was I going to say? I was, I was talking about something. Darn it. I was, I was rapping about something. I'll go for that pawn. If he wants to make that trade. No, he doesn't. All right. I'm going to guard his threat. Ah, move quickly. Oh, I missed a missed it. I could have played knight of three, but I was too worried about my time. All right, he got me. I, I I started that game wrong. I need to pay attention. I was not paying attention to the strength of my opponent. Um, but I was about to say something funny. Darn it! Hashtag you got to choose. Focus on your chess or entertain or do both. Alien Cowboy declines it. Yeah, he uh, he got away with one there, okay? Now he doesn't want any more. <sighs> All right, whatever, Alien Cowboy. Whatever, dog. Oh, we got somebody else here. Who do we got? Em em embarrassment Son? Something like that? I, I, I'm, I'm not good at reading usernames quickly. It's not my thing. I want to get a lot. Not my best work here. Not at all my best work. Darn it. Oh, yeah. We will take that blunder all day. Okay. Um, reading the uh, reading you guys' chats. I think you misunderstood what I was saying there, Bakus, about getting a diamond membership for the entertainment. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, let's find out who, who got the answer to Lawrence. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. I was going to say the we had a little um, 
at the chess.com meetup, we were talking about that. Danny, uh, we were talking about the the phrase like, you like me, you really like me. Like, uh, where did that originally come from? And it, it's been it's been in so many funny movies, but uh, that was a that was a little pop culture quiz for you. You know, I'm all about that pop culture quiz. Mm. We're back to this guy, old number one. Old number one. Back at it, this guy. Whoa. Crazy town. Hmm, I messed that up. Hmm. He could have taken my knight as well. All around, not the best chess here. All around, not the best chess. I really just want to take there. I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's not good for me. On the run. On the run. We're on the run. No. I'm going to lose this one. Uh-oh. Oh, that was funny. Um, that was funny. That was an LOL. That was an LOL. Um, oh, wow, sweet. I just learned from my team. I mean, you know what they say, insulting is the sincerest form of flattery, right? Insulting, isn't that it? Or is it Or is it invitation? Either way, let's say insulting is the ser it's sincerest form of flattery. Someone in my uh, chat just showed that if you search for Danny Wrench on Twitch, there's actually several Twitch channels made to insult me. Danny Wrench is a potzer. Danny Wrench is a loser. Danny Wrench is a loser one. Uh, Danny Wrench misspelled, I think. I don't know if that would be me or not, but that's pretty awesome. So thank you for all those insulting me out there who, who uh, hate me. As I said, the uh, insulting is the sincerest form of flattery. Pretty sure that's what the saying is. So, All right, let's play another Diamond member. Uh, let's play another Diamond member right here, Auntie Bach. Another day, another Diamond member. Thank you for supporting chess.com. Really appreciate it. Trying to play a French here. My opponent taking her time, given by her profile. Let's not get c5. There we go. Right, so that's good. Even even there, by the way, I think a6 is still needed. But uh, she didn't play it. I think I could have played knight b5 even there. For those of you who've been um, here from the beginning of the show, you'll know that one of the first games we played, someone blundered um, into that situation. So should I just bring the queen out or play h4 and h5? Probably h4 and h5. 
the Greek gift running wild, but she didn't accept my gift exactly, so that's a little a little hurtful. I'll just say that. It's a little hurtful that she didn't accept my gift right off the bat, but okay. I still have the attack that I've always dreamed of. Not quite though, where's my mate? Where is my mate? I want my mate. I'm giving up pieces to keep my attack going because that's how badly I want the mate. Hmm. Uh-oh. That was not the best. All right. No one's ever gonna take you down, you're the best around. And I'm gonna ever take you down, you're the best around. No one's ever gonna take you down, you're the best around. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Johnny! Sweep the leg, Johnny! You're the best around. No one's ever gonna take you down, you're the best. Hey, wax on, Mr. Miyagi. Okay, this gets very nice here. I have, I want knight, bug house me, bug house me knight right here, and I put him in checkmate. Bug house me as this pony. You're the best. Okay, what I have here, I want, I want pressure, I want pressure, this is what I want, but I'm not getting it, I need to just be smart about this. <gasps> My queen was hanging this whole time, I just saw that, you can see the reaction there, that's a clip, will somebody please clip that for my channel, my blunder, I have a lot more fun when people clip my blunders. Not when they clip anything I did that was smart, if that's ever a thing. Will somebody please clip that blunder? If you also want to clip my singing earlier, um, Amarillo by Morning, and maybe send it into American Idol, I don't know. I think I have a shot. I'd like, the, um, I'd like to at least be considered. Okay, so if anyone also wants to create a clip for my, uh, my George Strait Amarillo by Morning, that would also be appreciated. Now it's a pre-move fest because I want to flag him. All right. Uh, the Pinto. You almost had me there. I, I blundered my queen there. That was fun. All right, let's keep playing members. I love playing premium members as fast as I can. Don't catch me. Whatever that song is, you know. Insulting is the sincerest form of flattery, so thank you for that. Thank you for all of the fake Danny Wrench Twitch, uh, Twitch streams. The Danny Wrench is a potzer is, is the best, I think, because it actually is appropriate, because it's true. I am a potzer. Um, but the uh, Danny Wrench is a loser might be the most hurtful. So, so that's cool. Um, thanks for that. Uh, okay. Who am I playing here? Oh, man. I'm playing somebody. I was like, what's going on here? I literally was not paying attention to the fact that I was playing somebody who's pretty good. So that was funny. He's 2,400, but we got a mate and bait. Oh, he doesn't let me ring the bell. You know you wanted it. Come on, get that checkmate. You know you wanted it. Uh, that was that was interesting. Let's play a few more. Who we got here? The true chess player. Is that like a character from True Blood? Oh, that's funny. It's because he accepted and opened a new tab. That's why I didn't see it. The true chess player. All other chess players are liars. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, um, I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday. Yeah. Nope, I almost blundered that. I realized as soon as I did it that he was not gonna play the move I thought he was. The Bears were who we thought they were, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come again. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, not my best work here. I need to pull it together. I need to pull it together here. Before the time runs out on the tickety. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna take you down. You're the best around. Sveshnikov Transposition Town. You're the best around. Sveshnikov Transposition Town. Um. Ooh, very nice. You're the best around. Sveshnikov Transposition Town. You're the best around. Sveshnikov Transposition Town. Oh. Is this, is this making blunders for me? What holds, what goes here? I have a past pawn, it is delicioso. Not exactly sure where he's going with that. Um, we'll go here. Don't mate myself. It's the last thing I want to do. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna take you down. Okay, what do we have here? Very nice, like uh, bad London for him actually, like Collie, Collie system. Whoa. Don't mind if I do. I shall open that center. Thank you for asking. I'm super. Thanks for asking. I'm also blundering away my Positia. Neat. Now he make blunder. Very nice. I have here. I get to do this one and then B5. And it all works out in the end. It all works out when you pin pieces on the C file. Whatever happened to, like, Broadway music, right? It all works out when you pin on the C file. Um, all right, what's going on here? We got lots of people rocking and rolling in both chats. Thanks for being here, all 354 of you. Um, the uh, Oh, Eric's in the chat. I can't tell if he's laughing at me or someone else. <laughs> Dirty Dog says, I like Danny. It's just, to us older guys, that hairstyle reminds old farts of the Ben Stiller movie, Something About Mary. I, I hear you. First of all, this is not planned. I don't know what's going on here. 
I'll figure this out. I'm not trying to be Jimmy Neutron. Everyone knows I don't put product in my hair. I have very thin hair. So when it gets a little light and moisture-y, it's, it's kind of what happens here. So sorry about that. I'm balding. Slowly but surely, we're all balding, right? Just in some other areas. Um, anyway, thanks for being here, everybody, in both chats. I'm trying to monitor both chats over on the Twitch chat here. Danny, when I first saw you, I thought you were nice and clever. Is there a rhyme coming there? Or there's a, now I realize you're a complete, dirty, horrible person. What, is, there, is there a rhyme? Or like, Danny, when I first saw you, I thought you were nice and clever. And now it's cold outside, hashtag sweater weather, right? Is that what we're going with this? Or do you have something else? I don't believe in Rogaine. I don't believe in chemically preventing myself from naturally aging. That's why, that's why you'll, you'll probably see me age real fast, you know? Um, you'll probably see me hit that, like, I'll, I'll look 18, and then I'm going to look 70, right? I mean, that's kind of how it is. Uh, listen to Dr. Usetic. Oh, wait, I have game here. How did that happen? Did I ever accept a rematch? Or maybe I sent a rematch, and he didn't take it because he needed to cool down. Sometimes when you lose a few games, you got to go cool down. That's life. Sometimes when you lose a few games, you've got to cool down. Aha, this is very good for me now. Aha, this is very good for me now. Aha, uh, I think so. What is going on here? Maybe it's not so good for me. Uh, what's going on here? I'm freaking out. Hey, everybody, I'm freaking out. What's going on here? That sounds like my uh, my six-year-old daughter. Uh, dad? That's what she says when she, like, doesn't, when she doesn't uh, like something. Uh, dad? Uh, what's going on here? Uh, dad? Uh, what's going on here? What's going on here is I'm blundering. That's what's going on here. What happens here now? I have very big problems I must solve. I have to go put this guy right here. That is very nice. That is right where I want that guy. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Uh, yes, please. Are you going to trade for reals? Uh-huh. Yes. I just got myself out of a terrible little pickle. But I'm going to lose on time. Aha. Uh -huh. That's his plan is to beat me on time. I'm winning, but I don't have the time to do it. Ugh. No, dirty, rotten scoundrels. Now I understand why Eric throws a chair sometimes. When you just like crush somebody in a positional Night Orf masterpiece, right? And then you get flagged. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Dr. Usetic. Oh, wait, are you actually giving receding hairline advice in the Twitch chat? Is that what's going on here? Um, Dr. Usetic is a chess bra, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so maybe I'll grow up my hair and do what Tom Brady did and, like, do hair plug implants. Isn't that what he did? I don't know. Yeah, true chess player took me down. I'm going to cancel my rematch. That way you don't distract me again while I'm over here following chat. Um. <laughs> did you start that game by force, Josh? Who wants to forcefully play Danny? <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. Uh I don't look 17. That was a joke. That was one of those, like, somebody has an illusion of themselves, rough and boy. R ruffian and boy. I don't think I look, believe me, I think I look 45 plus. Okay, 45 after a long night at the casino. That's what I look like. Okay, I'm under no illusion. Don't, don't think that. That was just a joke. Um, tomatoes on your scalp. Okay, that's a pro tip. Nice. Okay. I love you too, Pinetta. Um, I think Dr. Usetic might actually be a doctor, but I don't know. He, uh, he's not making any of the awkward jokes I would make if I wasn't a doctor. Like, well, I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, right? So he's probably a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Josie Wales, the legend, the one and only Josie Wales, 2,500 player. 
I got to play faster here if I'm going to take on stronger players. I think that's been a big part of my problem. Yeah, good call, Dan. Good call, Dan. Uh, thanks, Captain Obvious. I guess we'll go for this. We're going to go over here. We're going to guard G5. We're going to push the knight out. We're going to give check. We're going to relocate and put a pony on D5. And Bob's your uncle. Uh, we'll go for this. Uh, we'll guard. And we'll blunder, apparently. I did not see that. What am I doing here? That was less than ideal as well. A lot of less than ideal options happening right now. Oh, yeah. Everything is guarded in the nick of time. Come and get the pawn. And hey, that rhymes. Everybody's happy. Everybody go take there. That was dumb of me. That was dumb of me. Also dumb of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was an utter collapse by me. That was hilarious. Okay. Josie Wells deserves another game for that. That was masterful. That was a masterful performance by Josie Wales, the one and only. The one and only outlaw, Josie Wales. Uh, okay. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, my queen's hanging with Chuck. I thought I could take his rook if he did that. This was bad blunder here by me. I have very big problems now. All my problems are coming to realize life. Though, I think he just made my life a lot easier. That's a lot of pieces. That is a lot of pieces that you just lost there, Josie. A lot of pieces that you just lost there. Not that I'm, uh, you know, one to brag about holding on to all of his pieces. It's not my thing. I'd love to go take A2, right? I mean, why not? Why not just go Pawn Goblin? You are a Pawn Goblin. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, okay. We have a very nice time here. We give check. We give this guy here. He loses this pawn. No, he doesn't. He wants more. He wants it all. Okay. You asked for it. Okay. If you say so. Uh, I'd love to just do something nasty. But it's not so simple as just being nasty. Now that I've gotten rid of that, uh, I thought I could maybe get away with something like this. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's just not a good idea. Maybe I'm blowing everything here. What am I doing? Ugh. This has become a real nightmare.
Okay, it goes well if we win. That is only the rule. I will. I will accept your offering to open up the position. That was a queen. Okay. That was unexpected. We never got to the bottom of that guy's rhyme, right, a little bit ago. The guy who, who did the clever thing. He was saying he thought I was nice and clever, and then, like, you know, obviously there's a rhyme coming after that, because clearly he still thinks I'm nice and clever. Duh. There's no other way there was any other ending to that story. No other, no other possible ending to that story. How do I, how do I punish him for his, for the attack here? How do I punish Josie for his insolence? I don't know. Feels like I should have some sort of way to, to do that, right? But I'm, I'm now I'm just down a piece and I've gained nothing from my attack. So this also did not go as according to plan. Uh, okay, I guess I got to go in here. Um, we'll give this check and then we'll take. No, we can't. We got to give this check. And then we'll give this check. Check. What is he going to do? Take a draw? No. No way he takes a draw. Ah. Blunder town by me. All right, where's I? That was frustrating. That was frustrating, everybody. Kind of a weird little system he's got going here, huh? Kind of a weird little system. The weirdest part about it is how much I'm just blundering away everything. I'm gonna have a lot of pass pawns here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool, Dan. Hey Dan, you got a lot of pass pawns there, buddy. Could you spare some? What? I make blunder? I make a blunder. Okay, very nice. Very nice combination by this guy. But it's still not all the way solve his problems. What am I doing here? Just have to take the draw. That was that was really badly misplayed by me. Ugh. 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 I rematched. There we go. Okay, that was a that was a bad game, everybody. I'm, I'm a little bit on tilt right now. I need to just start punishing his terrible openings. I'm I'm like, I'm letting him play these these moves. I need to be a little more aggressive in the uh, approach here. Need to start being a little more aggressive in the old approach here.
Okay, we have very nice mat that follows. Let's get it. Let's get our mat. Oh, that was dumb of me. Oh, that was dumb. Wow. Wow, that was less than ideal. No, I'm blowing everything here. <sighs> what they call tilt right there, everybody. That was terrible. He's fast. He's fast. That's uh, that's kind of his thing. Oh man. Anyway, how's it going in the chat? They're talking. Uh, they're talking chess bra. Are they talking pro chess league. Looks like they're talking pro chess league in the Twitch chat, which is always fun. Definitely always fun. Yeah, he's just really, really fast. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I'm, I just, I, I don't know if I can even keep up this game because despite being winning, he's, he's up on time again. Oh no, I'm going to lose. I had my draw. Flag town, population me. All right, I'm going to pull it together right now. It's time to go on a run. This has been bad, everybody. I hear you. I hear you. I understand how you feel about my chess games right now. Ah. Oh. I hear you on the badness of my chess games. I get it. Yeah, I hear you, Matt. I'm going to I'm Chess Bay is going to be a mod, but I'm not logged in right now as the right is the right uh Twitch account or something. So So that's the problem. 
yeah, if I was Josie Wales, I would never give up either because I've already blown a lot of winning positions on time. So, so it makes sense. And it feels bad to keep blundering all of these games away due to time, like right now. Whoa, whoa, why did it do that? Oh. Unreal. I couldn't move fast enough. I couldn't move fast enough. Oh. It's my fault. I got to speed up. Goddess. Whoa. That is a piece, is it not? I'm not exactly sure why that would be the best idea, but I guess he does win it back, so there you go. This is nothing but a bowl full of jelly. Ooh, I thought I was made I thought I was winning the bishop. That was bad. Oh, this guy's just a little trickster. Man. Wow. This is not good, guys. I'm losing it. I got to pull it together. Pull it together. Josie Wales has gotten better at bullet, and I am not playing well right now. Probably not his best idea ever. I don't think I've ever crushed somebody harder to not be up a ton of points in this match. Oh, rook d7 was better. It was mate. But okay. But okay.
Oh, I should have maybe just gone all the way. I don't know. This is getting weird. Ugh. That wasn't good. All right. Unnecessary grunting. Unnecessary grunting. Everything's still okay with the stream? Okay. Everything's okay. All right. I got to play faster here, everybody. That was a funny one. That was dumb of me. <laughs> uh, what to do here? I'm not quite sure.
What am I doing? That was dumb. Forced to do something wild now. Forced to do something wild now. doing that was this is a dumb game dumb game dumb game I have literally no clue what's going on in this position and why I haven't just lost yet Okay, I'll just resign. Yeah, that was that was weird. Um, how we doing anyway? How we doing? How's it going, everybody? How are you? Hi. How are you? Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Let's let's keep playing some bullet chess. He keeps playing this just terrible, whatever it is, and I just, but I, even the other one's terrible when I'm black and I'm not, not pulling it together very well. That was dumb. What should I be doing against this that I'm not doing? Probably just something like this, huh? else, huh?
I shouldn't have done that. How did I how did I do that? My god. That's why I'm frustrated with myself with games like that. Been way too many of those. Uh oh. What's going on? We got lag. Looks like I'm lagging. I'm lagging on the server. My connection is suddenly dying. Huh. I disconnected. I don't even know if you guys can still see me streaming. It says I'm still streaming. Can you guys see me? You can still see. Okay. So that's strange. It's chess.com, I guess. It's chess.com, apparently. Uh, site crash? Stream is okay. Our site's down. Sorry, just trying to get a hold of uh, trying to get a hold of people here. Not sure what's going on. Trying to refresh. Looks like we have uh, some sort of network error going on here. I have. I'm pretty sure it's uh, something on the West Coast. Yeah, I don't know. Chess Bay is speculating. Um, yeah, I'm still going to play viewers. I was just having fun with Josie Wales here. Not really having fun losing games. But uh, right now it looks like something's going on with the network. Is anybody else is anybody else down? Yeah, exactly. I'd love to say I lost so if I had the power to crash the server when I lose, it would be way too much power. Okay, it's back. It's back. Apparently the site is back. It seems that way. Um, okay, just checking out the chat. What's going on? Some people over in the uh, Twitch TV chess chat, too. Hey, everybody. Danny can still tell us funny stories. I can do that, even if things go down. That's like my go-to. That's my go-to calling card. 
right? That's my go-to card. Funny stories. Um, but it still looks like I'm streaming, right? Yeah, like the, the, the stream is super strong. No drop frames. So let's, uh, let's try to get back to playing some chess if you guys want to send me some challenges. Hmm. It says my internet connection is, is terrible. Please try again. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Danny, we want Magnus stories. I got some Magnus stories for you. All right, now we're back. Now we're back. All right, taking on a Diamond member here. Taking on Mr. Lee with the uh, with the avatar. Or am I? Looks like I still have a weird connection. I'm probably going to lose rating points on this one. There we go. What is going on here, right? Am I on some sort of, like, I need to switch off. I'm on some sort of preview server. I need, I, need to, I need to switch and get on some sort of production server. I don't know. But I'm going to try not to lose this one, even though I'm way down on time. But I, I, I'm just, look at that. I'm just disconnected. Something, something's going on. Oh, Lee resigned, probably out of pure, pure mercy for my connection. Um, I don't know what's going on here. My ping is 254 milliseconds. So I'm not sure what's going on with the connection. That's a bro move by Lee. I agree. Lee's a bro. Lee is an amazing bro. Um, not taking my rating points, even though they were clearly there for the taking, for the grabbing. They were available to him. Uh, but recognize that... Yeah, so I guess you have 50 milliseconds. So I guess my connection isn't great. Um, but what's interesting is I'm streaming cleanly. I'm streaming clean. I got a clean stream here. Like zero drop frames kind of clean. So hashtag awkward. Awkward. Um, I think I'm going to use this moment to go get some afternoon coffee. It's the last thing I need, which is why I'm going to get it. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to see I'm going to let the server reset here. I wish that there was some sort of help from one of my staffies. Magnus is waiting. Um, are you guys all going to watch the uh, Computer Chess Championship next week? Me and Bobby Hess will have commentary. It'd be interesting. I've never done commentary computer versus computer. We've done man on machine. Machine on man. This sounds so weird. We've done man on machine action, machine on man action. Man and machine versus machine action. Right? We've done all kinds of man versus machine action, but we've never done machine versus machine with man commentary on the action um so that's what's going on next week the computer chess championship is our big one and then of course it heads up to magnus carlson versus wesley so um so i'm not sure what my settings are i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna switch over to websocket and save and see if maybe that's saved that's a pro tip coming at me from a staff member right now um we also have a show on in one hour and ten minutes. Grandmaster Yermolinsky will be going over the games from uh, from today's St. Louis showdown. So um, if you're interested in that, pretty pretty fun event going on there. But I have one of those really fast coffee machines, so don't go anywhere, please. I'm watching all 380 of you. Wow, we still got a lot of people here, given that I completely just lost the last ten minutes because of a horrible connection. Um, I think they were enjoying Josie Wills, but don't go anywhere. I'll BRB 
and uh, we'll keep this we'll keep this train uh, a rolling. We're still streaming here. I got my I Love Jim mug. Love Jim from The Office. <sighs> Apparently I lost all my analysis boards. I had very much analysis board on. And that uh, had a perfect stream going. So, thanks for the bro move, Lee. Thanks for the bro move. Am I back on, uh, I'm not sure if I'm back on Chess TV yet, or what's going on with the weird connection stuff. We don't want Danny to lose anything. What do you want me to lose? My shirt. Take off your shirt. <sighs> um. Did I go to the t No, I, I went and threw water on my face and then wiped my face off with a towel. I get very easily red skin, very easily irritated skin. It's uh, something that's always been the case with me. 
easily irritable skin. Welcome everybody who's still still watching in the uh, Twitch TV slash chess channel. Thanks everybody who's there. Checking out the chess show from the Twitch TV chess channel. Um, I make my coffee in the tanning bed. That's right. Yeah, Kirkwood Chess knows. That's only because he's not here. If Kirkwood's here, sometimes he will get the coffee for me. Um, anyway, a lot of premium members and subscribers. Please subscribe to our Twitch TV slash chess channel. Do it. Subscribe over there. Also, become a premium member because that's how you get better at chess. There's no other way to get better at chess. Hashtag. Hashtag kidding. Um, all right. But we've got a lot of people waiting here. Let's go with Theos, Theosis Kinesis, right? That sounds like a fun name. We'll go back to playing some members. I know you guys put up with my my battle versus Josie Wales there for a while. I'm going to get into another title player battle here in a minute, if Josie Wales is still around. But right now I'm just hoping that I'm not going to lose again on time. What is going on? Okay, this time my opponent's actually thinking. Okay. Hard to tell these days, right? Hard to tell if my opponent is actually thinking or if I'm about to do another lag session. That's why I gave a little bit of time. Um, anyway, I would really love if you guys could help me uh, get this personal Twitch channel going, Twitch TV slash Danny Wrench with some follows and some, um, some clips, some clips, clip it out, clip it out. We've had some good potential clippage today. Show me, show me your clippage. Um, some good clippage today from, uh, brought to you by clippage. Um, what was the clippage? That was good. I'm forgetting. When I blundered, remember when I blundered and made it myself? Remember that? Oh man, that was so funny. Remember, remember, remember how kids say member? Remember, remember when we, uh, do you remember when we, uh, whoa, am I just like blundering everything, member? I'm blundering away everything. Remember when I blundered away everything when I was trying to say member? Uh, yeah, this isn't good. Thankfully, it's, 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 uh, one O, so he's not going to have enough time to beat me. Member berries, <laughs> Plect, plecturma, Plec, plectroma, in the chess TV chat. There's definitely some hardcore lag here. Yeah, that might have been from my opponent, though. Theosis Kinesis, sorry. Um... Sorry if you were struggling. I don't know what's going on right now. We need to stabilize our server today, apparently. Uh, so let's uh, let's get some more games. Who else is here? We got H Sada, H Sada from from Canada, don't you know? Ontario, don't you know? If I had to guess, it's Ontario. I don't know why. Maybe Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa. It's definitely Ottawa. Um, I actually don't know. Don't know where you're from. That is the truth. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Feels like the Holy Ghost is running through you. When I play the highway, yeah, fam. Well, who's that song again? I heard that song. Who sings that song again? This lady who sings about the church that comes out of radio. This is very much American radio if it has church in it. <clears throat> um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hi. Uh, this 
There's more Canada than Ontario. I know there's more to Canada than Ontario, Rock a Link of Rock Month. I, actually, I thought all of Canada was just like a big hat for America. That's all it is. That's what I've heard anyway. Um, Kirkwood Chess is backseat gaming. Back, there's nothing more irritating than a backseat gamer, right? Worse than backseat drivers. If you're like, oh, I could have done that better, right? Um, the uh, North Minnesota, South Dakota, Minnesota, North Dakota. Um, seriously, Danny, Canada is just a hat. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. I know. I'm right. Canada's just one big hat. Um, hat for America. Thank you, pure uh, pure red, white, blue. Danny, you make chess.com the best. No, you make chess.com the best because you're a Diamond member, so you make it the best. I'm just here for you. Um, let's keep playing. A lot of members have been hanging around on the hopes that I would come back from losing my rating points to Josie Wells and they'd get a chance to play. So you are in luck, members. Thanks for sticking it out. Thanks for hanging around. Joseph Fosoric Acid. That's a great username, by the way. Um, I take amino acids for my brain. I also take... Uh, uh, Amino acids, and there's a phos phosphoric. Is that a is that a is that a pill you take, or is that like a dinosaur bone? Phosphoric, right? As soon as you start saying things like phosphoric pterodactyls, I don't know what's going on, right? We got dinosaur names. Phosphorosis. It's either something you can only get at the homeopathic natural medicine store, or it's a dinosaur bone. Phosphophorus. Phosphophorphophis. Phosphophorphophis. Yo, man, you got some... Can I hit some of that phosphophorphophis? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hit it. Hit some of that phosphophorphophis. Ah, uh, no, I make blunder. He not see it. I have bad square for my pony. There. Very nice. Okay, here we go. I have very nice. I go get little guy here with my knight. That is what I do. Okay, what he does, I unpin it so I can play cone g6. And now, where do I get him? Hmm. Need to be slightly defensive minded here, yeah? Ooh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. I let my boys see uh, The Matrix the other day for the first time. They're 11. You're like, how old are they, Danny? How, what kind of horrible parenting are you doing now? I'm all about horrible parenting. You know that. But um, they, are, they are 11 and 9. One of them's almost 12, though. The older one. Clearly the older one. Yeah, thanks, Danny. Way to go, Captain Obvious. So, yeah, I uh, let my boys see The Matrix for the first time so they could understand life, obviously. The game of life. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so, but it was like, what's so great about The Matrix is even though like the fight scenes are no longer the greatest thing ever because of special effects things like that there's something about like the subway fight scene right mr anderson versus you know agent smith that is like still just like gives me goosebumps like every time right pulp fiction at 10 that sounds real healthy chess bay that sounds real healthy yeah um, yeah, Pulp Fiction is a movie that I don't let myself watch. I've seen it once, and now I'm like, Danny, you're not allowed to see that movie anymore because it's bad for your psyche. Okay, no, seriously, Pulp Fiction is phenomenal. Great, great dialogue. All Tarantino movies, great dialogue. Um, but no, we, I don't let my kids see um, most movies, but The Matrix is a great, it's a great movie. Like, you know, there's, there's not a lot of sexual content, right, for kids that age. I mean, the violence doesn't have, like, a lot of blood, 
The Matrix is good. The Matrix is good. Right. Even if all we're doing right now is the Matrix. Okay. We got another Diamond member here. Yeah, I don't worry so much about existential crises because we exist, we think therefore we are, right? We exist. Even if it is the matrix, then the matrix exists. Something exists. So I don't, I don't stress on that stuff as much. Yes, maybe Uncle Sasha does. Hello, I am here. I am your Uncle Sasha. Okay, this is very bad for you now. Uh, should I do it? Should I do it? Do it. Do it. This is why you don't take with the queen. And now you can't take the knight because I fork you. Ugh. I was hoping you would see the instructional arrow instead of letting me fork you. Come on. Um. Okay, this is getting wild. Wet, wacky, and wild here. Yeah, you can't take on F6 with the queen, diamond member, Pran, Ritu. From now on, guys, because I want to get more of you in, a lot of you members have been waiting to play. I'm going to give you, like, one educational tip per game. Don't ever take on F6 with the queen again. Don't ever do that again. Ah, he wants his bell rung. Yay! Come on, everybody. I say ring it, you say bell. Ring it. Ring it. Right? You get it. I say ring that, you say bell, ring that bell, ring that bell. We got a lot of members waiting to play. Hectagon, you've already played. Playing Diamond members first. Uh, Kirkwood wants a game. That, that sly little staff member. That sly little staff member. All right, let's go with this guy here. Lud Funes. Funes. I don't know. Funs. Funsies. Right? Right. Funsies. Funsies. The band Fun. Give me a second. I I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State. My lover, she is waiting for me. Just across the bar, my seat's been taken by some sunglasses. Asking about a scar, and I know I gave it to you months ago. I know you're trying to forget. But between the drinks and subtle things and holes in my apologies, you know, I'm trying hard to take it back. So if by the time the bar closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home tonight. We are young. So let's set the world on fire. Oh, we can shine brighter than the sun. Do 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 do. Tonight we are young. Okay, we have nice king and bon ending because I have more active king. I go get win. Duh. Is this how it happens? What? That made it easier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tonight, queens are fun. So let's go. Oh, go get us a checkmate. Not gonna be stalemate. Not this one oh. tonight. We are young. Okay, what we have here now? We have lots of people in chat. Here goes. Um. What's going on? We got JD Cannon, JD Cannon, staff member, up in the chat. JD Cannon is going to be starting his own chess stream soon, and you can too. Did you know that if you want to be a chess streamer, we will help you get started? What? Thanks, Timmy. The information, Danny. I want to do that. Okay, go sign up. Um, and the Danny goes pop again. Bump, bump, bump. 
Um, JD Cannon is already streaming. If you guys don't know, JD Cannon is does so much amazing things for our company, like like Mr. Kirkwood. Um, but JD JD does awesome stuff. So anytime you see JD hanging out, you should thank him. Give him a hug, a virtual hug. Can you give virtual hugs? You don't have to hit 1,300. We got chess streamers who are literally know nothing about chess. I'm not sure if you're being serious, Camille 1800, that you actually uh, that you really want to want to stream. But uh, if you are, then uh, somebody can. Uh, Mr. Kirkwood Chess, you're in the Twitch chat. Maybe you can share a link there for him. Share a link. In about 45 minutes, this is the longest bullet brawl I think I've ever done. How long has this stream been going? And we still got 350 of y'alls. Yeah, JD does accept hugs. He's an amazing person who does awesome things, so be thankful to Mr. JD. Um, yep, uh, just checking on all you chat. Danny, Danny, you still have 22 hours to go. I'm not doing a 24-hour stream. I don't know what... I don't know why you keep getting on that, BJH, um, but I choose life, okay? That's not my thing. I got to leave in about an hour. That's why the show is ending then. What I wanted to do kind of an epically long show. Hopefully, you guys will help my um, Danny Wrench channel kind of kind of get going here, do some clips for me, and give me some follows so we can get this party started. But uh, I... Uh, I got to go coach my son's basketball. I'm coaching my son's basketball team, middle school basketball. We're doing awesome. Thanks for asking. We play the 1-3-1 one, one on defense. That's my jam. Um, I'm all about nobody rests on defense, okay? You know what? We also, you know, it's just a lot of basic ball movement, pick and rolls, give and goes, you know, getting these kids to understand basketball is a game of space, creating many mis mismatches. Um, anybody can play me again. I understand that. But, all right, Lee gets another game. Lee... Lee gave me a bro move. He did me a bro solid and resigned a game where he could have easily taken my rating points because of the lag and just been like, well, but that's not Lee's game. Lee is, uh, Lee is a classy, classy person. And I love that about him. I really, really do. He's playing the Dragadorf. Um, the Dragadorf. I know. Sounds like a, a, a uh, an opening like where they made like a typo, right, in the title, Dragadorf. Like, were you supposed to put the N where... Oh, he could have played Knight C4 there. That would have been nasty. That would have been nasty. I was just blundering away. Oh, Lee. All right, let's see what Lee does here. Yes! 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 I know that wasn't a very bro move by me, Lee, after you resigned to give me the rating points. But that was a queen sack for mate. Can somebody clip that, please? Clip it up. <laughs> Lee is awesome. That was... Hey, Lee, you know what would be silly? You know what would be so silly? Is if we sacked our queens together and then checkmated at the same time. But it's not possible, but it'd be silly if we did it. It would be, it would be so silly. That's an inside joke between me and Lee. It'd be so silly. You know what would be silly? Even sillier. Is if we have a lot of premium members waiting to play in a bullet brawl. That is silly, and it's happening. It's so silly. So silly. Um, all right, let's play some silly chess. Queen trade, develop the knight, give a little check, do a little dance, make a little love. You know it, cackle long. Do a little dance, make a little love. Get down tonight, woo! Get down tonight, woo! Do a little dance, make a little love. Get down tonight, get down tonight. No, this is not your idea. You make rook hang. Niet. Uh-oh. Cuddle Baby is coming off at the wheels. Cuddle Baby needs to be cuddled. Cuddle Baby needs to be cuddled. Somebody get this man a cuddle. Get this man a cuddle. A cuddle ship. A cuddle shuttle. Cuddle shuttles. 
where like while you're on a trap while you're traveling people cuddle with you what right while mating with a pawn if that's not a clip material i don't know what is cuddle shuttles like you pay somebody to spoon with you huh come on come on i've had a few million dollar ideas in my life that might be it cuddle shuttle where's josh when you need him let me go see if he's in the chess tv chat at brother josh did you hear did you hear my cuddle shuttle idea that's baller man <laughs> people are like oh he's actually typing as he's saying it in chess tv chat cuddle shuttle that's already a business is that a seriously a business in tokyo chess bay I feel like sometimes you say things just to pull on my emotions, Chess Bay. And I don't want this to get weird between us, but sometimes I feel like you're teasing me. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of people that have challenged me, Camille 1800. It's not that you're being... There, there's a long list of challenges. I'm just going through and kind of randomly picking out people. But yes, if you are a premium member or a subscriber to Twitch, you have a better chance. Okay, Chess Bay is 90% truth, 10% abject BS, right? That makes sense. Everybody knows that. Cuddle Shuttle. Uh, out of interest, I read The Life and Games of Mikel Tal because I love his playing style. And I know it's cliche, but who doesn't? But the book that really helped me because I'm a potser needs to... All the help I can get was Sarah One's Winning Chess Opening. Sarah One's books are great. Uh, Tal's books are great. Anybody who's here knows how I feel about Mikel Tal. Okay. You know exactly how I feel about Mikel Tal. That's right. Does that scare you? Come on, did I get you? Yes, I got you. Got you. Um, all right, we got some more chess games to play here. Ooh, Josie Wales is back. I might have to go. I might have to jump on that Josie Wales train before the show is over. All right, I'll play a staff member. Fine, Kirkwood. I see you. I see you lurking. He's a lurker. He's a lurker, a twitch lurker, right? I'm a joker, whatever, I'm a doger. I'm a midnight toker. What is that? I get my loving on the run. I'm a sinner. I'm a dinner. I'm a lover, and I'm a dinner. Oh, Kirkwood, you messed that up. Doop, 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 doop. All right, another diamond member. I haven't heard any songs from fun in a long time. That was fun, singing some fun. Honestly, that was fun, singing some fun. Tonight, we are young. Anybody here ever listen to the format, his first gig? Before fun was the format. Wait, this guy challenged me to three minute? What? You cheated. I don't play three minute on the Bullet Brawl show, yo. Oh, man. Now I can't abort it. I'm going to lose rating points. Let me try to get another game going here. Hectagon wants in again. Maybe Hectagon is that guy in Twitch who keeps asking if he can play. Um, we got some masters wanting to get in on this, too. All right. Well, we're gonna play. We're gonna play another person in a one-minute game. I gotta deny this other three-minute challenge from Pran Ritu, but I'm looking for a lucky, a lucky uh, challenger to play in one minute. There's a lot of challenge. I'm just going with my heart here, following my heart. Let's play this guy, Guitar Los. Is that like a Carlos game? Like a, a play on Carlos? We'll see if he actually makes a move. We'll see if Guitarlos actually makes a move. Not yet. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I gotta deal with that pawn now, huh? Okay, Guitarlos isn't interested. So I gotta get somebody else up in this. Hectagon, I've already played you, brah. Alright, let's play this guy. Davin Mento reminds me of the movie Memento. He doesn't notice his move either. 
I feel like people aren't paying as much attention as they should be. If he take if he castles here, I have bishop takes h2 followed by queen c7 check. That's a tactical pattern, everybody. Put it in your book. Keep track of it. Put that little noggin on your little database in your head. Oh man. All right, I'm trying to get some other one minute games going, but everybody's aborting. Everybody's aborting who I'm choosing. Pran Ritu, I don't remember if I played you, but I'll play you. I don't, all right, there we go. Now we got a simul. Now it's on. Now we got a simul here. This is going to be risk it to biscuit, risk it to get that biscuit kind of chess. That's a piece. I don't know that our three-minute buddy realizes that his best chance now is officially to just move because he has a simul, the advantage of a simul going. Maybe he is, maybe he does get it. Who knows? Oh, he's getting it. He's getting it. You can tell because he's moving faster. Oh, that's that's the weird stuff that can happen in a bullet simul right there, right? Whoa, what's going on here? How am I not just mating everybody? I feel like Kevin Bacon on Footloose here. Uh, wait, am I letting him out? I'm letting him out like a dummy. It's just because I'm getting confused over here. I just need to go get a queen. That's what I need to do. Just go get a queen. Go get a lady. Boom. Bell ringer. <laughs> Bullet simul. Uh, how did this guy get me in a 3-2 game, right? I mean... This guy, this guy really took advantage of me. I feel violated. Oh, wow. Nothing like a 5 p.m. cup of coffee, right? I mean, that's just nuts. That is just bananas. 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 <laughs> I feel like people are like, wow, Danny's gone. Okay, that got weird. Um... Yeah, the reason I'm a little red, everybody, is because my lights have been off. See, I got the lights on a clicker. Ready? Bing! But the lights are super intense. When I'm doing these shows for a long time, like, it's literally a lot of degrees in here. That's why I had to put deodorant on and I got to take a break because it gets really, really hot all up in this. So, yeah, it's a reality. This is not a joke. This is, this is, uh, playtime's over, Okay. This is, these, uh, how am I going to mate him? Come on. Where's the mate? Right here, right? That'll do. That'll do. She'll do. Boom. Double bell ringers in the sival. Love it. Um, hold up. My celly's blowing up. Um, looks like my son was calling me. Stream a game online for a bunch of strangers or talk to your son. Clearly, we know where our priorities lie, everybody. Um, what's, uh, no, a Danny versus Hanson chess fight would be no good. Okay, let's go, let's go get some revenge here against Josie. Come on. Let's get our revenge against Josie here. I don't even really know what I'm doing. 
but neither does he really. That's the thing. The main issue with Josie, as we've learned, is that I am very likely to flag at some point in the game. That is the main issue that we have learned with Josie, so I have to kind of hold it together in terms of playing decent quality moves long enough to win. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. But I'm probably winning. Uh, am I not going to mate him here? I feel like I'm going to mate him. Oh my god, I just mated myself. This is just unreal. I swear to god, I'm like, I'm like, what am I doing? Man, I have got to stop beating myself against this kid. Not sure if I was mating him on 94. I thought perhaps maybe. Just maybe. I just met you, and this is crazy. But here's my number, so call me maybe. Here's my number. So call me, maybe. It's hard to look right at you, baby. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. I missed you so bad. I missed you so, so bad. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. I missed you so bad. I missed you so, so bad. Bad, 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 Sure, I'm missing a lot of other wins here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh darn, I thought I was mating him. But turns out I'm not. 
Whoa. Wow, that worked out. That worked out better than originally planned. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. Darn it. Oh, that was weird. Oh my god, Danny. Come on, dude. That was dumb. I don't know why I'm even still playing this one. Tilt on that one, everybody. My bad. That was a tilter. Well, that was weird. This is just terrible chess right now by both of us, honestly. Just absolutely horrific. Horrific chess right now by everybody involved, all parties. to play here. There we go. That'll work.
Sorry, that was funny. Okay. <sighs> Given how bad we've both been playing, that was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Two rooks for the queen. I shall take it. Maybe that was a mistake, huh? I admittedly didn't see that coming, knight 65. That's the truth. Whoa. Oh, I just blundered that right back. Oh, another one. Not my game here. Not my game right here. That, that was just bad chess all around. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. This is bad. Somehow I got a draw out of that. I'll take it. I'll take it. This guy's been flagging me all day in those types of games, so I'll take that. I'll take that horrible, pathetic draw any day of the week. And that's a piece. Good old-fashioned blunder of a piece. Uh, we'll go get the dark squares. Why not? Well, that's too bad. Thought I swindled him. Turns out I was swindled. Turns out the joke's on me. All right. That was bad. All right, let's do it again. Here we go, Danny. Here we go. B E A G G R E S S I V E. Yo, B. Aggressive. Yeah, B. B. Aggressive. Hey. B E A G G R E S S I V E. Yo, B. Aggressive. B. B. Aggressive. Yeah. Hmm. B E A G T R E S S I V E. Yo, B. Aggressive. Yeah, B. V. Aggressive. Hey. Uh, okay, this is a bit of a problem here. Ooh. Forgot about that, duh. Uh, 
Shouldn't have, but I did. Darn it, I'm going to lose on time again. I won? Oh my gosh! I never would have thought I could have won a time scramble. Whoa, can somebody clip that? Will somebody clip that? Except don't clip the part where I said, will somebody clip that? Because that's not cool. That's not what the cool kids do. But clip the rest of it. Clip the rest of that game, just not, again, not the part where I said, will somebody clip that? You get it. Mouse slip. Ay, 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 that was very bad, mouse slip. That was a very, very less than ideal mouse slip there. Uh, we got to try to get these queens off the board. Apparently I have nothing there. Surprising. Hmm. All right. Getting on a bit of a roll here. All right. That was a blunder. Did not mean for that to happen. Whoa, almost made it myself. Oh, what am I doing? Ah, uh, eek.
point one zero 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 point no I'm kidding all right let's play again move oh I'm just mouse slipping everywhere I may have to stop after this I'm mouse slipping like a son of a gun right now I am mouse slipping all over the place. What is a son of a gun anyway? Everyone always says that, right? Like a son of a gun. Or is that just something that crazy people like me say? I don't know. I don't know exactly. But I do know Bruno Mars. I do know Bruno Mars. I don't know Bruno Mars. That was a lie. Sorry about that. Sometimes I lie. I lie awake. Sometimes I lie awake. Boom. All right, I think I may have to call it right there. We're getting ready for the next show. Plus, I'm feeling a little shaky. I think the coffee at five, combined with not having eaten in the several, I'm, I, I feel like I just need to cut my losses here and say, okay, okay, son of a biscuit from Kalik in uh, the Twitch chat. Correct. That was the answer to me asking, what does son of a gun come from? The answer was son of a biscuit. There you go. You get it. Um, I'm not leaving exactly yet because Uncle Yermo is getting set to start here in just a momo. Just a real momo. Okay? So I want to make sure that y'all go right from me to Uncle Yermo. Don't leave. Don't leave. I want you to stick around here. Cancel the rest of your plans for the evening. Just do it! Cancel them. Do it. Cancel your Just plans. Just do Thank it! Thank you, Shy. Shia. Just do it! Go back, go do back to your it! corner. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I want you to all stay around. I hope Danny watches my clip at some point. Okay. I love to see someone who wants something so bad. Kappa Blanca. Look at that. That's a great username uh, for Twitch. That that's that's up there. Um. Most most. GM streams are retired. This one still wants to become something. You're saying I still want to become something other than what I am? I am a human being. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I don't know that I have any aspiration of being a GM anymore because you can't have everything in life. And I'm doing a lot of things here with chess.com. It's kind of a busy shedge. I don't know if you check the chess.com shedge. We got a lot going on. So schedule has me busy, unfortunately. I would love to go be able to focus on myself and get some me time. I'd love to get some Danny time, but I got a wife, four kids, chess.com, and um, a completely dysfunctional family. So that's, that's my plate's full, right? Seriously dysfunctional family, wife and four kids. Not my family, I, you know, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, okay, I want to win. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I do want to win. I do want to win. Yes, you're right. Thank you for the compliments there. Um, I want to win. I can, you can see it in my eyes, and I appreciate that. It's getting, I'm getting tired. I'm getting real tired. Right after this stream, though, Uncle Yermo's coming on. So uh, we're going to play a few more games, take you right up to uh, Uncle Yermo, who's going to be rocking your world like the little country girl you've always wanted to be. Uh, what happened today in the showdown? Let's go get you ready for that. Oh yeah, somebody asked about my opinions about Fide criticizing Fide criticizing Fide for hosting the World Blitz. Well, so first of all, um, I'm not a huge fan of Saudi Arabia's views on a number of social issues. Okay, um, so you know, and uh, you see that you know a grandmaster like Hikaru Nakamura, and I tweeted kind of praising Hikaru. I think it's nice when you see somebody kind of speak out and speak their mind. 
Um, you know, Hikaru was pretty outspoken about obviously the social issues in Saudi Arabia that a lot of people are, are frankly just not 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 that thrilled about in in life. Uh, and so it's an odd place to play when there's going to be certain people that are just not even allowed in the country, and then there's all kinds of you know religious, racial, uh, you know gender like issues there. So, but all that said, I mean, I also think you could argue that bringing an event to a place like that, let's say somebody that has kind of old world values or something. I don't even know what the correct term of it is, right? I, I don't agree with it all, at all. But you could argue that when you bring an event like that there and there's women coming in from out of Saudi Arabia and competing in the event, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a step in the right direction, right? I mean, I, I personally just don't agree with the placement by FIDE. I don't think it's good for chess to be involved in that kind of scandal. But I, I thought about this a lot today, and I was thinking that, you know, sometimes, you know, without getting into judging too many social, political, whatever issues, I think I think that sometimes events like that are the first step in a direction that maybe exposes them to a world that is outside of their own, in a way, maybe. I don't know. Right? Baby steps, right? I hear that Saudi Arabia will allow women to drive next year. So, got that on the calendar. That sounds amazing. Right. Uh, jokes aside. Sorry, that sounded kind of funny. Um, but uh, anyway, so it's an issue. It's an issue. And someone asked me my again, my my opinion on it is I don't think it's a great location. I think the fact that we're talking about all this stuff is probably not that great for chess. And I and I respect and appreciate people like Akara Nakamura seeking out and uh, kind of using their platform to give their opinion on, on kind of social issues like that. But like I said, as far if you want to talk bigger picture lifetimes of, of people like where Saudi Arabia at in 200 years, assuming all of us on this planet haven't destroyed ourselves in a nuclear war, right? I mean, maybe things like this are a good step in the right direction. Who knows, right? I can't tell the future. I'm not a genie in a bottle though I play one on TV. Have you ever seen the Christina Aguilera video? I'm one of the backup dancers. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Seriously, can I do that? Wait, wait. I'm a genie in a bottle. What, what was the move she did? Come on, help me out here. Christina Aguilera's dance video. I'm a genie, right? It was a very curvy move. It was a very curvy move. Okay, you hear what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and, and Chess Bay makes a great point that, you know, the big the big issue with hosting the World Championship there is that not everybody can participate. I think that's the main thing, the main issue Akaro has. I think a lot of people have issues with Saudi Arabia's views, views toward women and other social issues. But regardless of those views, people just aren't happy that it limits people from Israel and Iran, like people that just can't go there. So that's just not good. And I don't think it's a great location on that level. So, yeah, I, I agree with that 100%, a honey, a honey percent, 100, a Benji. I agree with Chess Bay, a Benjamin on that. Let's make some daily chess moves while I have you here. This is turning into a bit of a Chess Today show. Ooh, I got another Chess 960 game. Ooh. 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 This one, I have win idea, maybe. Take everything and then play c5 because the pawn's pinned, right? It seems like that should win, although it's an interesting structure to get into. If knight takes, queen takes, queen takes, bishop takes, c5, he can't take it because the bishop's pinned. But if he plays king g2 and I just take it and then he moves the bishop, I've actually doubled my d-pawns and given him an outside pass b-pawn. Very tricky by him. Oh, wait, I have knight e3 here and it just resigns. Yeah, knight f1's coming. Game over, red rover. Here comes knight f1. Um, yeah, so that'll be that. Here I go this way. I get very nice position with knight on d4. Okay, here we have this guy. I push it. All right. Um, let me check in on the staff. Where's Uncle Yermo? Where are we at? I think that what I'm going to do now is uh is is play some four player chess uh 
I'm going to go play one game of four-player chess, but officially, as of this moment, I've been told that Uncle Yermo is ready. So, if you would like to continue to follow me for another half an hour as I go play my daily game of four-player chess, the game that I'm obsessed with, I've been limiting myself to one game per day. Like, that's an addict talking, okay? Um, then go ahead and go to Twitch TV slash Danny Wrench. That will officially be the only place you can see it. Chess.com TV and Twitch TV slash Chess will be will be Uncle Yermo as of right now. So let's go play some four-player chess. Everybody who's still with me, this is going to be fun. And uh, we've had a really, really long and fun show today. Bullet Brawl, I haven't done one of these epic, epic kind of deals, right, in a long while. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's play some four-player chess free-for-all style. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Ooh, another 1,700. All right. Waiting for someone who needs me. Do, 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 remain this baby. Muhammad Ali MD, that guy plays me in Bullet Brawls. Yo, what's up, Ali MD? Yo, what's up, Ali MD? Yo, what's up? Um, he's like, yeah, hi, Danny. That's weird. Uh, I'm gonna block myself. I'm gonna guard myself there against his diagonal defensive mindedness. Is probably what's taken me so long to get good at it. Four player chess, right? Headed out west to the land of the pine On my way down to North Carolina Pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers And I'm hoping for Riley gonna see my baby tonight so rock me, mama, with some four-player chess. Rock me, mama, four-player chess is the best. Hey, mama, rock me. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. All right, so this is a tricky one. I... I Nobody's gone for the queen rush, right? Let's, let's be instructive about our four-player chess. Everyone knows the queen rush is where things get real nasty. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to be a, uh, a queen rusher myself, but I would like to be in a position. I've often learned it's not who gets a queen first. It's who gets the potential of maybe getting like three queens, right? You get like a pawn storm up there. You really get, and you've been able to do that and sort of safely, defensively hold on to everything else, right? So that's kind of... So the way I might do that, if I could, is maybe queen to c7, currently kind of a safe diagonal, maybe Rekarovka, Delinaya, queen side cackles, right? Get the rook right here behind my pawn here, my, uh, my, my seven, seven, whatever it is, seven, where's the letter? Seven B, B7 pawn. Um, if I get it behind my B7 pawn and start to rush that baby girl. Uh-oh, Lake Erie has disconnected. Come back. Charlie, you can never come back. You can never come back. Okay, he's back. Oh, that was dumb. I was supposed to castle along first because now I can't castle. His bishop is on this diagonal here. That's less than ideal. So now I'm going to have to block that diagonal probably with a move like that. Put my pawn on e6, block that diagonal, and get back to my plan of cackling. Maybe I'll even play bishop e7 first. Put the bishop on this diagonal. Prevent tacticos. I, I generally believe you should castle away from the left side player. Okay, because their position is a lot closer to you over here um, than... Uh, than everybody else's, right? Or, or no, they're they're not closer. It's it's more dangerous because of 
you know, if the left player checks you, right? The whole game theory, right? You don't really want the left side player directly to you to be the one who's who's all over you, right? It, it's usually a recipe for you to lose that round. So I tend to believe castling away from the, uh, again, the left side player is kind of in your best interest. But, you know, every position's a little different. So I, I'm going to follow my own advice and strategy here and get cackled long. And that's part of my, like I said, if I could just tuck this king away over here, everybody would be happy, right? Um, if, you're, if you're watching this show still, well, first of all, thank you. Um, I'm not even sure how many of you are still here. I'm checking on the Twitch chat. Thanks for being here. This is this will be the end of this of this long run here. But you got to stick around and help me win this four-player chess game. Come on, vote for me. Vote for Danny. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Um, but if you're at chess.com TV or Twitch TV slash chess, then you can't hear me right now. So it doesn't matter that I'm talking to you. I could talk behind your back if I want to. Napoleon Dynamite, also a great movie. So, I'm really, I, I'm nervous right now. And this has been a very, very close kind of game right now. I'm nervous about, if I rush my king over here, I'm nervous about these diagonals and my king not ever really finding safety, ever really finding true happiness. True happiness. Is anybody anybody in my Twitch chat still? Do you guys watch Once Upon a Time? Because if you're about to say yes, just leave now. Please don't watch Once Upon a Time. I know it's like trash TV and everybody has their, like, you know, their, their guilty pleasure. But I was watching Once Upon a Time with my wifey in, like, the first season. We were kind of into the idea that... Uh, um, that like, you know, these fairy tales were like adult versions of the fairy tales and ooh, dark graphic, right? Um, and the show jumped the shark so early on and now it's still one of the most popular shows on TV. It makes me so worried about the state of our society, right? It's just, it's really crazy when you hear things like Once Upon a Time is the most watched show on television. Nothing frightens me more. Besides circus folk, obviously. So Muhammad Ali MD is now a little bit, a uh, little bit nervous about me advancing my pawns here, right? So this is a this is an interesting query right here. Do you take in these cases? Because opening that rook can be so dangerous. People always miss tactics, right? When you have a massive open file, they miss tactics. But pushing the pawn might also be interesting. My son is calling me. This time I'm going to answer live on the air. Hey, Nash, what's up? Hey, Dad, is the game at J or V or uh, RSC Uh, It's uh, at, the, at the middle school. So it's at the uh, RSC Mission? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can double check the, uh, the picture. You, you, you Yeah, I'll double check and I'll text you if it's not there. If I made a mistake, all right. all right? Otherwise, it's all right, there. Bye. All right, bye. Calling about the basketball game. Classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, he gets a queen. Good for him. But I obviously chose to take rather than push and gain a tempo because tempos are so vital. I feel like if it was if it was against um, like red where I'm the one to the left and I can kind of go after red because I'm the most dangerous player on the board right now to red usually based on the game theory. If that was the case, I might have pushed and gained a tempo because now that tempo move makes everybody else gives everybody else a chance to gang up on red. So that's strategy for you if you're looking to learn four player chess. Like probably tempo moves are more effective when you're going against the player, you know, to your right. Uh, you know, in this situation, I think opening up and creating some activity is is definitely the 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 right idea. I think I made the right choice. I made a Sam Adams. You get it. You get it. I'm going to back up my beach up. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and maybe I'll push. Okay, he wants to go get another lady. As if two ladies isn't enough. 
He wants another lady. Mr. Muhammad Ali MD does. What? Green just got all up in Red's business. Taken with check, yo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this tempo move now that also opens up my bishop on this diagonal, right? So I've got potential here. I'm hitting this pawn on b7. And it's really, you know, it's certainly he can defend the pawn, or not on b7, it's on two, whatever that is, two e. Ooh, he brings his queen back. Is he actually trying to trade for my bishop here, or did he miss that? He's threatening a check, so I have to be very careful. If he gets that check, I could be, I could be in uh, Bustedville, which is right next to Smashtown, in case you're wondering. Yeah. Oh, wait, but I have my rook here, too. Something tells me he just missed that, because I also have my rook here. I'm going to take with the rook, obviously, because then I can take with check. Bishops, to me, are more valuable than rooks in this game. And I know this might have been an exception, because I had the rook wide open. So, should I have done that? I don't know. The rook is being open. Usually, the rooks take longer to kind of get their jiggy with it. But in this, in this situation, right now, I'm getting this check. And I think a check is more valuable. And I think that bishop, bishops are just so nasty. Bishops are just nasty. Wow. Look at that. Threatening mate over here. It's craziness. I'm going to attack his queen. Assume green sees and stops his own checkmate. Hopefully green doesn't let himself get mated, you know. This is rough. This is very, very tricky here. We have a very nice situation. Okay, so Muhammad Ali, I think, is watching the show because he knows I was just talking about him. And he, as he said, everyone can see the chat message that he sent, right? When your wife throws a crying baby on you while you're playing chess. I've been there, buddy. I have been there. Seriously, I've been there. Like, I was probably just there, like, like uh, yesterday or something. I mean, that's, that's one of the places I visit regularly. His wife highly irritated with me while I'm trying to do something for me. As if I don't do enough, right? <laughs> Oh, I love being, I love being crazy. Muhammad Ali, don't come and trade my bishop on, on, on 7D, bruh. That doesn't do any of us any good. Leave my bishop out of this. <sighs> Shenaniganizer, I'm going to have to let you trade. You don't need to, though. You don't need to. Just say no to trades. Ah, oh, just say no to trades. I'm, I'm upset with you right now, Doctor, Doctor MD. Are you a real doctor? By the way, should I take with the knight or the? Ah, oh, look at him taking advantage. Red is taking advantage of Muhammad Ali's, you know, attack on me. Darn it. I hope that somebody goes and attacks Red right now. Ooh, that's a checkmate threat. Nasty. Look out for that. Some nastiness is coming. Something wicked this way comes. Green is in trouble, actually. Yeah, that's like a serious problem. I want to get in on that action. I want to go checkmate green, but I don't really have time. So I have to defend my my own setup. But bishop bishop to uh, 7k was actually really irritating for Muhammad. Yeah, because he didn't want he doesn't want to take the bishop and trade queens, but now when he goes there, green can play a check. Oh, green, what are you doing, dude? That's a bad move. If green takes here with check, Muhammad is in big trouble. I don't know why he didn't do that. What is going on here? Is that you guys like just being crazy? 
Town people. I don't know why. I don't know why Green didn't take with check. That could have really put a hurt on Muhammad. Yeah, now now Green is going to regret that big time. Cuz now if he brings the bishop back, now he's going he has to bring the bishop back again, and guess what? He's going to take with the bishop. No, that's mate. Dude, you just did not prevent mate there. Uh, is red going to prevent mate? I could go get mate now, huh? I could go get mate, and I would lose my queen, but I'd get 20 points. But I, if I don't do something, I'm giving yellow mate. Green, you really, you did this to yourself, man. You, 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 uh, you really did yourself in there by not, by not taking Muhammad's bishop with check. And I don't want to let Muhammad checkmate you, but I don't think I have a choice. I can't just go checkmate you and lose my queen in the process. I don't even know what to do here. I seriously don't. I'm going to go activate my rook. Yep. That's what we expected. Go give a check to red. See if yellow can do something nasty to him. I feel like Muhammad's going to win this game now, but mainly due to the the miscue there by green. The miscue by green was was ugly. Why did I give that check? What am I doing? I don't even know. But I'm going to continue to play weird chess now. Uh, I'm totally dead. I just totally, I just totally killed myself there. Wow. That move was terrible by me. This queen has got to come back this way. I just put myself in a horrible double attack position. I am dead. Freddy is dead. Dead Fred. Yep. Who's going to checkmate me first? Who's going to get the golden goose? Man, this was tough. I felt like I started out really well in this game. Green really just, like, messed up everybody there. That was just silly. I mean, he gave Muhammad a checkmate and uh, everything else to go with it. So, I'm mated. All right. Oh. And Nash is calling too. What's up, buddy? Hey, Dad, where are RC Nash? Okay. So, is that RC Nash? Yep. And I'm uh, coming over. Yep. All right, bye. Bye. All right. Well, this has been fun. Yeah, no, that was terrible. Feels bad, man. Last queen moves were horrible. He's a point guard. Point guard, two guard. He's getting better. Good ball handling. Left and right. I work on him on ambidexterity. So, Anyway, team, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks you to everybody who's following uh, my, my, my our channel here. Subscribe to Twitch TV slash chess. Thanks for just being awesome, and uh, we'll see you later. I'll, I'll pick up my game next four-player chess round, but peace out.